Hey there guys, today I'm going to be showing you something kind of cool. Um, I do not know how to line up tape though. I will t say that off the bat. At least with this tape. I can do it with Zebo and all that kind of other tape, but for some reason I just can't line up um, this tape and I'll show you it in a second. But anyway, it's a duct tape wallet. As you can see, I mean, right now I didn't try over this one, but I um, got the tape and I put it over the this and it just didn't work like it um the tape would have to get like off like here it would be the beginning and then here would be the end it would have to go out a diagonal just to line it up yeah anyway but by the way um guys you see this little white um white on here that's not on the tape it's on I mean it's on the tape but it's not belonging to the tape um I painted over this while well, I put like little bricks on it just to make it kind of cool and they all kind of squashed away because I didn't put clear tape on it but anyway um, I wanted to do something different I wanted to show you guys what this wall would look like with all with everything in it because I know most people show you how thin it is with, with everything out of it but I want to show you everything in it like, I mean it's like that, it's still kind of thinner than my thumb and my finger. But the reason why it's so thick is because it has one ID in it, and then a credit card in a hidden pocket, and then just one credit card on top, and then one, two, three, four, S. So it has eight credit cards all together. Um, as I said, there's one in each hidden pocket. There's four on this side. Um, one over here, and then one in the ID, and then one in each ID, not hidden. Then it just has a ten dollar bill in there. The, it doesn't stick at the bottom. But yeah. You can see there is always um, a little bit of tape down there, unless if you use my method, and a lot of people do. I mean, it's not my method, um, it's just from what I copied off of other people, how they made their how-to, and then I just kind of followed it. But as you can see, it doesn't actually stay shut. I mean, it does the best I, it can, I guess, but... It doesn't really do it. I mean, um, I think it does when everything's out of it, and that's what I'm going to show you now. So just, I'd say, before and after. I just wanted to do this because most people don't. And I wanted to show you that um, an actual duct tape wallet does increase, like, a lot. I'm sorry about the shakiness. I don't know where my world camera is, and I'm using my iPod. I'm just holding it. By the way, guys, um, does, I want to ask you guys a question. Does your, um, uh, does your guy, Walmart, uh, carry real tree camera? Mine does not yet. And I want, and I just want to know, will they actually carry it? I've seen them carry it, but not by duck bond, and I don't buy any tape besides duck bond. Well, at least now I don't. Anyway, you can see it now. Like, it does shut without any help. Not when it's at an angle like that, basically. Basically, as you can see, it does shut. A little bit on the side, doesn't, but definitely does on the other side. But anyway, you can see it is thinner now. Uh, it definitely is, like, before it was not even, it was kind of as thick as my finger, but now it definitely isn't. Um, so, hang on, here you go. So I just wanted to show you the actual differences between the wallet, um, then and now. It does kind of make it bigger, kind of doesn't. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to take these out. Oh, we have helped. 
Oh, there's green side. Uh, after now, I'll show you everything. Still the same. I don't know. I don't know, I guess. But. Alright, as you can see. Alright, guys, so that was just my really long video on this one wallet. And how many quite cards you can fit in it. Yes, yeah, so it is one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight makes a wet, a, I mean a wallet very thick. At least in my opinion. But anyway, guys, that's it. If you guys ever want to order a wallet, just email me. Um, I do take orders, but not in large quantities. <laughs> like 56 closes. I kind of learned my lesson that it takes really long. I mean, I will take it if you give me enough time, but, yeah, just saying you cannot do 56 closes within a week, unless you, like, do it every single day, or you have someone helping you, it's very really hard, but, besides that, alright guys, peace out, and have a good day, peace.